Well, it's been a few weeks of royal frenzy, if you will, as Kate Middleton's health and whereabouts fueled the rumor mill. You can't avoid it. Joining us live is Aisha Polnitz, Associate Professor of History at Rice University. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, first question for you here. How does the recent media coverage of Kate Middleton compare to previous portrayals of previous um, women in the royal family, particularly in terms of maybe public perception and media scrutiny? As you, I'm sure, remember, uh, after, uh, during uh, the, the life of the late Princess of Wales, uh, Diana, uh, intense media scrutiny of the princess's private life uh, arguably contributed to her death in 1997. Uh, and since that moment, there has been a self-denying audit, audit, ordinance whereby the media, uh, at least in Britain, refrains from photographing or, or, or using paparazzi photos of the royal family when they are not uh, in the public eye, when they're not fulfilling public duties. Uh, so uh, the last... Uh, the last uh, couple of weeks at least has seen a, a, a breakdown when it comes to the Princess of Wales, uh, uh, the current Princess of Wales, uh, and, and a return, particularly with the footage published in, in the British media uh, uh, over the last couple of days um, of, of her apparently walking in a, um, in a, a market garden uh, close to her home in Windsor. And can you provide any insight into any historical precedents or patterns we've seen in the past when it comes to the treatment of a royal spouse by the media? And how does Kate's immediate experience fit into that narrative? For most of the 20th century, there was marked deference uh, to royal spouses and, and spouses-to-be demonstrated particularly by the British media. Uh, and one only needs to think of, of the abdication of Edward VIII, uh, which is only announced, and Wallace Simpson is only presented to the British public uh, a week before the abdication in December 1936, to get a sense of that. That relationship changed remarkably uh, in the 1960s with the rise of the tabloid media, particularly uh, The Sun and the News of the World, created by my fellow Antipodean Rupert Murdoch. Uh, and they changed, uh, they, they had a very different attitude. Uh, they saw the royal family uh, more in the guise of, of celebrities. There was no deference there. And Princess Margaret was arguably the first royal woman to experience this kind of media scrutiny, particularly regarding her relationship with uh, a, a landscape gardener, 18 years her junior, um, Roderick Llewellyn, uh, which began, I think, in 1973. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for that insight. I'm sure this is going to be a conversation that continues to evolve. Lots of people all around the globe are certainly interested. Aisha Polnitz, thank you so much. A pleasure.